Hi. In this video, I'm going to share with you why people use macro. So for example, if you have this data that you have to go through these steps, first is that you filter the data set and after that, and based on the filter results, you create a pure table and then once you have these two files, these two worksheet, you copy it to a new file and then you repeat it for the next country. So let's say you have a ship one here. Now this is what you want to do. So based on this, let's just clear and then I look for uh, a country called B end and then from there I'll just copy this copy this and create a new worksheet. So um well obviously you can't copy it this way. Okay, so um let's see. I haven't do a filter. So I do a filtering first and then now I copy and go over here and I paste it. So it's all be end now. With this, I'm going to insert pure table and I create a new worksheet. And I'll just for simplicity I just drag uh departments. You can do more. And then with these two worksheets, you now need to copy it to a new file. And you gotta do it for every single country. Once you finish this. You go here, you do a filtering, and then got to do an ID. And again, you repeat the same step, copy it, and paste it to a new new worksheet. Or maybe the past two, you need to delete it, and then, or you replace it. You delete it, and then you make it into a new file. So these are what we call the manual steps. So to replace this manual step, we can automate it. So I have just spent a few days to simplify this. So uh, from now on, it will be just a single click. So I just go over here, click insert, and I just call it generates the report. So I click on this button. Now notice that there is one. And now I'm gonna click on this button. So I have some code here that I have, I have write this down and um, let me just run the code and show you how you see now I just selecting the worksheet and then not, right now is um, it's nothing because it's just and we have just removed the auto filter now we just uh, run this again now it is now filtered by the end and then the next one is I can do some filtering and I just paste it. Now all of this is automated. Now I just run this code. Now what happened is that it copied it to a new worksheet. It's just that great. It's copied to a new worksheet and now it has um oh yeah I will show you that um I should show you another steps that so I just run this and this again. So what happened is that it's, it created a new file with the, uh, the name is called ID and then it saved this two worksheet to the new file. And then it closed. So I can just remove this by clicking on this button. Mm, I don't need this. So what happened you see here is that it's just generated the file and put it here. Now watch this. Without those stops and stand, right, it will be just a single click. Okay, so now look at that. There's the empty file and now RD is just clicking this button and um, macro will just generate the all these manual steps. It's done. Every file is now having that particular country's data. Now just 
uh, and they are uh, open there. And then based on this data, it's generated a pure table. And this file is ready to send to the, the particular country manager. It's just that simple. So what does the code like? This is it. Well, first we make use of array uh, to have the list of country names there. So right now we only have three countries. We can always generate more. And from there, we call a method that is called create new workbook. And from there, we use the, we first want to delete the existing worksheet, which is called filter and pivot. And after that, we also declare two workbooks. The current workbook, I call it workbook source. The new workbook, I call it workbook destinations. And that's just way, my way of naming it. So this is object variables. So it's, it refers to a object, a workbook object. Okay, next is that I do a filtering. So just by calling this, now this code, you can always uh, copy, do a recording macro. And then I do a filtering based on the field number one. The field number one is just basically the column A. Okay. And then the criteria is country code. I basically pass this from this procedure to this procedure. So I'm passing this value to this. So there's a lot of uh, basic concept that you need to know. And I covered it in my basic egg macro course. Okay, now finally, uh, we copy this filtered value into a new worksheet. We copy this, selecting the appropriate range, and then we created a new worksheet. And then uh, we paste it. We then we create a pure table. And finally, we save it to a new workbook. A new workbook, and we paste, we copy the worksheet, that two new worksheet into. Now we use the source, we get where do we copy the worksheet? It's from the source workbook and paste it to before the first worksheet in the destination workbook. And finally, we save close and save the save the change. And once we finish this, it is go back to the next item. And we will filter based on the ID column. And that is how we use a complex array con um, there is uh, auto filters that is working with two workbooks. These are very essential skills that can save you time if you have a role that's involved in copying this workbook to another workbook, or uh, maybe to a new workbook. I think this could will help you. Hey, thanks for watching this. Have a nice day. Let's help each other.